Hey you guys, I know it's kind of dark in this video and I really apologize for that, but I just moved. I'm still getting all my stuff together. I'm supposed to get my ring lights sent to me, but my sister, ugh, it's a whole thing. I don't have my ring light, honestly. So I'm in my kitchen and I thought I would finally do my unboxing of my Brandon Blackwood bags. I got two of them. I wanted more, but the fun said no. Um, one I already unboxed, so I'm not gonna focus on that one. I'm gonna show that one later. But this, I've been waiting ages, ages to unbox this with y'all. Ages, ugh, it was like a long kept secret. Anyway, so this is from Brandon Blackwood. He is a black designer, a black bag designer. He has been designing for a while, but TikTok really blew him up to the point that everything be sold out. Like when the Telfars was selling out, we were like, okay, at least we can buy Brandon Blackwoods whenever we want. They started selling out too. So if you sign up for this email list, he had a drop and you could pre-order for that drop. And that's what I did. And I pre-ordered it, I don't know, a couple months ago. It took a while to get here. They didn't even start shipping until June. I think I bought it in April, can't remember. But um, so when you unbox it, it has this. And the reason it's so crumply is because FedEx be just disrespectful. Like my my box is broken. It had a shoe print on it. I had to wipe off like someone motherfucking stepped on it and then dropped it at my door. Anyway, Brandon Blackwood, New York. He's on Instagram. Everybody is wearing his bags. Everybody. My favorite picture is of Chloe wearing it. Oh, she looks so good. So when you open the envelope, he has a note. Like, not a big company writing handwritten notes. What? We only see that, I mean, technically he might be a small business because he's not a big corporation, but as big as he is, we don't, we don't see that anymore. So when you open it, it's already in the dust bag. Open the dust bag. Oh, Y'all, I'm waiting. And it's wrapped in paper that has his name all over it. texture it's obviously full of her guys but <sighs> wait you can't even see the fit bitch hold on and i have big arms and for my to fit in this country this is so cute i'm gonna put the name right here in the price and i'll also have the link below for this one so much this is so cute now this was cute and all and i love it but this is like a bag you wear as a statement piece it is the center of the room i wouldn't consider this an everyday bag but if you're you got it like that where your style is immaculate every single day every day you walk out you can wear something like this then wear it what i'm really excited about and this one i just have to open I had to wear it immediately. This one, same black box. <clears throat> I kept it in a duster. This one also came with a card. And this card's not bent up. But it's literally the same message. So that's so cute. 
Oh, you guys, I just realized um, I have the order form here, so I can tell you. So the first one, oh, it's real hair. It's a genuine pony hair. Did not know that. I should have looked that up. That's my bad. But the second one is the hand dyed premium denim with gold hardware. That's this bag. Same deal, bag has his name on it. Babes. <laughs> Babes. This is the cutest freaking bag I have ever seen. Oh my God. And I have the coach denim. So I was like, oh, I need another denim bag. I just love denim bags. I'm gonna do a comparison between the coach and my Brandon Blackwood. This one's better. This one's better. There's pros and cons of both, but this is actually denim. Like you can touch it, it feels like denim. And then it has these gold accents on the bottom. It did come with like little rubber stoppers. If you don't want this to get scratched up, you could keep those on there. But, oh, look at the detail. You can see the actual denim. I love dark denim too. The only con about this bag is it looks kind of big here and it looks kind of big on social media when other people wear it. This is a pretty small bag. Like that's all the space you get to put stuff in. This is literally like you treat it like a clutch. You can put your wallet. Um, ah, <laughs> a piece of amethyst fell out. I forgot to put amethyst in this bag. Bless, bless. Anyway, this bag is literally just for your wallet, your keys, and I don't even know if you have a small enough phone in your phone. That's all, and your vaccination card if you have one. I ain't shaming people when I'm vaccinated. I'm just saying, it could fit in here. So those are the two bags. Different sizes, different styles, but I love them both. The only reason I choose this more as an everyday bag is because I do wear a lot of denim and this can go with a lot of outfits. I'm not the type of person who likes to wear a black bag every day. If you want an alternative to wearing a black bag, this one. Statement bag that you can wear all black. You can wear all black and wear this bag every day too. So it's up to you and your style. I love them both. 10 out of 10 for this one. 9 out of 10, 9.5 out of 10, just because of the size. I wish it was a little bit bigger because if you have a big phone, I have the iPhone mini. That's what I'm using to film with now. If you have like a big ass phone, big ass Samsung phone, I don't know if it'll fit in here. I haven't tried it yet. Yeah. Just the last look at both of them. Uh, oh, and the only problem I have with this one, besides that it's genuine pony hair, I did not know that, y'all. Do your research. Beautiful. And ignore my nails, y'all. So I'm gonna wear this one today. And I'm gonna put her back. She's gonna go back into her little bag. <clears throat> what do you guys think? Have you guys bought the Brandon Blackwood bag? What are your favorite black-owned businesses? What are your favorite black owned bags? Have you gotten the Telfar? Are there any other bags that you feel like bag brands or luxury black owned bag brands that you feel like need to be hyped more that I should buy from? Let me know down in the comments and I'll see you guys later.